Hey, Bjorn Strong in the Arm here. Welcome back to RimWorld Science, where today we are going to be looking at a question a number of people have asked about what affects the chance of success in surgery. And we'll be looking at particularly four different things. We'll be looking at the health of the doctor. We'll be looking at the status of the room where the doctoring is happening, the medical room. We'll look at the effect of the different kinds of medicine. And finally, we'll look at the type of operation being performed. So let's start with the health. If we come down to a doctor right here, check him out, come down to this surgery success chance, that has a big difference. That is partly based on the skill. So you see Doc here only has a medical skill of three, and that means he only has a 50% chance, kind of base rate for a surgery success. But then consciousness, sight, and manipulation are the three things that make a difference. Now it says consciousness 100%, so if this was 50%, uh, consciousness, because it's 100% importance, then this would go down to 25. But here, sites 100, if this was 50%, if it's only 40% importance, this would only go down to 40. But now notice it says here 100% max. So that means if we make it better, it's not going to actually improve. So if we come over here, we add a part, we add a bionic eye to Doc's, let's say his left eye. Look at his health, that makes his sight at 120. But we come over here and look at his surgery success chance, it's still 50. But that's only for sight. Uh, and of course, if we make it, you know, knock it down by removing that eye. And we, then we look at him, we'll see that does go down to 40. That's only for the sight. The manipulation does, doesn't cap like that. So that means you can make your good armed doctor better by giving him bionic arms. You can't make a fully sighted doctor better though by giving bionic eyes. Okay, here we have our five patients, each of which is set to have a peg leg installed and each of these are set just to have normal medicine all the way down. And I'm actually gonna run four different tests, one for each of the three kinds of medicine for herbal, normal, and best quality. And also I'm gonna want, run one on the best, the normal quality medicine that I have right now, but instead of having uh, our doctors here have a skill level of three like they do right now, we're gonna come over here and max all of their skills out. So we'll have a max level doctor. And as we can see, the max level doctor here uh, has to be maxed. All right, there we go. Now they're all, they're all maxed out now, as we can check right here by going through them. And so we'll, yeah, run these four plus the other four and we'll see how they all do. There they are, all getting to work. All right, and we can see here, there are a bunch of different kind of failure rates. There are actually four different, or th four different results you can have. You can have a success, a minor fail, a catastrophic fail, or a ridiculous fail. And also some people can die. And as you can see, I've put the numbers here on the screen. I've run each of these tests 10 times. And as you can see, the herbal medicine has a 16% success rate. The normal has a 42% success rate. And the glitter world medicine has a 76% rate. And the normal medicine with max skill was a 78%. Now, this is a small-ish trial, only 50 of these. There might be some wiggle room in there, but those are pretty significant differences. We can also look at the percentage of the fails that resulted in death. Now, there are so few failures for the Glitter World and Max Skill that it's not really meaningful. But you can see on the herbal and normal controls, there's sort of 23% and 17% of the failures ended in death. We'll want to keep an eye on that as well as we look at other possibilities. So next we'll want to have a look at the rooms themselves. So we've got four different tests. One where we've replaced the vitals monitor or added a vitals monitor into the hospital room. One where we've replaced the, room, the normal bed with a medical bed. And one where we've put a sun lamp in the room. And finally, one where we've taken up the floors and made the room incredibly, incredibly dirty. And we're going to take each of these and again, run 10 different tests to see what kind of different results we get. All of these are using, I should point out, the normal medicine level as well. So our normal can be a baseline. 
And as you can see here, we've again got some results. We've got here that the case where we use the uh, medical bed, we've got a 30% fail rate. When we use a monitor, a 28% fail rate. Uh, when the room was filthy, we had a 30% fail rate. And when we used the really bright lights, we had a 32%, I mean, success rate, I'm going to say fail, success rate for all of those. Actually, each of those is a little bit lower than when we just use the normal medicine and nothing else in the room. Probably that trial was a little bit on the high side. And the average probably of all of these as we, you know, go more and more trials is going to go to around 35, 30 to 35% success rate. But it looks like none of those made any sort of significant difference in the kind of effects that uh, we had. Just to be on the safe side, I've also got this trial right here. We put all of that stuff together, the bright lights, the vitals monitor, and the nice hospital bed, ran this 10 times as, er, as well, and ended up with a success rate of 34%. So if those are making any positive difference, we would definitely see them all stack together. It looks clear none of that environmental stuff is making any significant difference to the results. Okay, the next thing we want to look at is the different kinds of operations we can do. And in the research I've done, it appears that for the most part, all the operations work pretty much exactly the same as the peg leg installation we tried with one exception. And that's the exception of carcinoma. So... Let's go ahead and give carcinoma to each one of these guys. We'll just put it right in the torso. Okay, as you can see here now, they have all got carcinoma and they also have a bill to have that carcinoma excised. But look at the doctors here. You'll also notice they've all been maxed out on skills too. That's because you can't excise carcinoma unless you have a skill level at least 10. And so the easiest way is to max them out. So we just have to remember as we do this trial that we are comparing it with the uh, max skill trial. And as you can see, we are set for each one of these guys on normal medicine. So that is the comparison we're looking at. So you guys get to work. I've also done this trial with a hospital that has all the extra stuff in it and with very, very, very dirty hospitals. Now, as you can see, we got very different results here than we did compared to our control. So here we have in the ordinary carcinoma excising and the carcinoma excising where we've got the better beds, lights, and vitals monitor, we have a 42 and 46% success rate respectively. That's compared to a 78% success rate that we had with just normal medicine and an ordinary installation of a peg leg. Also, notice that on all three of these, the percentage of fails that result in death is a, between 40 and 45%. The highest we've seen anywhere else is 30%, and that is the very top when we had the uh, monitor. And it, it tended to hover you know, anywhere between very, very low and kind of 25-ish percent. So it looks both as though the carcinoma is much harder to do, you're much more likely to fail, and if you fail, there's a much more likely chance that you'll die. So what have we learned? We've learned that, of course, medicine quality has a big effect. The skill of your doctor has a big effect. And the health has a big effect, as is shown here again in this table. But other things, well, dirt, dirt is a hard one. Dirt seems to have a real effect when it comes to carcinoma, uh, changing it from a... 42% fail rate to a 20 per, or success rate to a 20% success rate, but doesn't have a big effect for other kinds of surgeries. But fancy stuff like vitals monitors and all that doesn't do a thing. You can do your surgery in the dark so long as you have got good medicine, a good doctor, and it's clean, you should be just fine. Anyway, that's it for today for RimWorld Science. If you have an idea for what we should investigate next, please let me know in the comments. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you soon.